name is Jessica Lyon. I'm the project manager of the Phoenix Firestorm project, and this tutorial is targeted towards you Phoenix Viewer users um, who are migrating over to Firestorm. I'd like to show you how to get into the Phoenix Viewer interface that we've designed to look as close as we can to the Phoenix uh, Viewer interface. So we'll start with, with this here. When you first launch the Firestorm for the first time, you're going to see this little dialogue here. Did you know you can get the classic Phoenix Viewer look with Firestorm? Go to the Select Mode menu on the right and select Phoenix. Let me just show you how to do that. So we'll click OK and get rid of that. And down here on the bottom right, you'll see there's a Select Mode option. And I'm just going to click that and click Phoenix. This is going to make you uh, relog. So we'll just click Quit and relog. All right, so here we are, and you can already see a, a bit of a difference here in the in the login information down here. Um, so let me just log in. And I'll remember my password because I can never remember it. And I will click login. And here we are just logging in, and everything's going to be a little bit slow at first because um, you have a fresh empty cache folder, which means that everything has to be loaded, including your inventory. So you're going to start out as a cloud, uh, at least until your inventory loads, because you, you can't wear something that isn't uh, in your inventory yet. So you have to wait for that to happen. And, and this dialogue represents that. Your clothing is still downloading. You can use Firestorm normally, and other people will see you correctly. Let me just click that away and click close. And we're just logging in, and I can open up my inventory here quickly and uh, just do a little search, and that will give me an idea. You can see down here, there my inventory is loaded now. It gives an idea of how many items uh, have loaded in your inventory, and poof, there's my avatar. Now, if your avatar doesn't load, if you end up remaining as a cloud, um, if you have one of the things you can do, one of the easiest ways to fix bake fail, and this uh, may be a thing of the past once Linda Lab rolls out the new server-side baking uh, code. But in the meantime, if you have outfits, you can go into your outfits and just do a right-click and replace outfit. And that usually fixes um, your clouding or being clouded problem. Uh, of course, you've got to make sure that your inventory is loaded before you can do that. Now, as you can see, this looks quite a bit like Phoenix. It's not exactly the same as Phoenix, and, and we, we, we've never made claims that it's exactly the same as Phoenix or V1. Unfortunately, uh, that's a very difficult thing to do uh, with the V3 code base. But we made it as close as we possibly can for you, um, and it should make your transition a little bit easier. Uh, now, granted, also, you'll notice that the menus at the top here are, are slightly different. Well, completely different from Phoenix. Um, there is going to be a learning curve, I'm afraid. It's not too bad. Now, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is find your conversation floater, and you can find that right down here. Just click there, there it is, and you'll want to resize that a certain way, however you like. Your contacts list is in here. Another thing you might miss immediately is your radar, and that is found under the people panel. I can click that, and this would be the radar. And for me, I generally prefer to have it over here, but it's different for everybody. And there's all kinds of options, all kinds of stuff you can do. In fact, Firestorm has a lot more options than Phoenix does uh, nowadays. You can close that. Now, another very cool thing that you can do with Firestorm, which you can't do with Phoenix, is you can customize these buttons. Let me show you. Just simply right-click on one of these buttons in this area here, and you'll discover there's a whole lot of different things here. You can remove buttons and you can add buttons. Let me first show you how to add buttons. So there's a toolbar buttons option right here, and if you click that, there's a whole lot more buttons uh, and uh, options that you can uh, set up in Firestorm than you can in Phoenix. Uh, and it can be a little bit intimidating at first. Um, so first of all, you can have a preference button, you can have your profile button, quick prefs, which is very popular with people. Um, and in fact, quick prefs you don't need in the Phoenix skin because it's right down here on the bottom right. It's actually integrated into the skin. Um, you can have your places, um, chat, contact sets, area search, you name it, it's all here. And the way you uh, bring these out is you click and drag. So let me just find one that um, would be useful. 
uh, let's see the how to because that has some tutorial information so you just click and drag and you have a, three choices of places you can put it you can put it on the left here you can put it somewhere on the bottom and you can place it anywhere within these buttons or you can place it over on the right and for this example I'm just going to put it on the right here and there it is let me grab a couple others photo tools is pretty cool I'll put it there uh, photo tools camera I know lots of people like to have their camera controls let me just close that out and you can experiment with that and, and choose uh, buttons that you like uh, one of the other things you can do in here is change the way these first of all you can change where they are top line center line bottom line by default it's center you may want it up here or you may want it down at the bottom or defaulted at the center you can have icons and labels you can have just labels or you can have just icons you can do all that as well down here uh, in fact so if you want um, icons only for example you can just have the icons if you want labels only, you can have just the labels. If you want to have more room down here, you can um, do auto size the buttons and they'll auto size based on what you've chosen here. And then you can have it right aligned or left aligned or however you want. Very customizable. And um, all kinds of things you can do here with these buttons. You can also move these buttons. So I can click on this people button and move it over to the left or to the right or wherever I want it. So even though the Phoenix interface on Firestorm isn't exactly the same as, as the Phoenix viewer or the V1 viewer, we think it's pretty darn close and it's about as good of a representation as we can provide for you. Um, also keep in mind that uh, although there is a learning curve, it really doesn't take that long to learn. Um, and, and we have you know dedicated support that can help you out with things. Uh, we've got uh, tutorials, we've got the wiki with lots of documentation and uh, I hope this helped you guys um, moving over from Phoenix over to Firestorm uh, adapt a little bit easier and we'll see you in the next tutorial.